Hello viewers, uh, this is Mr. Banda, Mathematics Made Easy. In today's lesson, we have a question coming from Additional Mathematics, uh, ECZ syllabus. And the question is from uh, 2020, 2020 Paper 1 Specimen. And this question is coming from the topic Application of Differentiation. 12B of Paper 1 is saying the diagram shows a cuboid with the rectangular base of sides x centimeters and 2 x centimeters. The height of the cuboid is y centimeters and its surface area is 120 uh, square centimeters. We have to show that the volume v uh, uh, cubic centimeters of the cuboid is given by v is equal to 4x minus 4x cubed over 3 that's the first part of the question. The second part is saying, given that x can vary, find the dimensions of the cuboid when v is minimum, where v is the volume. So when where is the volume minimum, what are the dimensions of this cuboid when the volume is minimum? Now, what are we supposed to do to solve this particular uh, question or puzzle? That's uh, for the working. Let's see what we must do. So for the first part, where we have to show that volume is that, uh, take note that we are given the area, okay? Because you can see that in this uh, formula for volume, we don't have the y. Meanwhile, all the dimensions we have y. Where has y gone? So y has gone, or uh, it has been made subject of the formula after getting the expression, the algebraic expression for the area. So let us know that the area in the first place uh, of a cuboid is given by uh, the area of the base, which is at LB, because the base is a, a rectangle, so it will be LB. Now there are two of them, we have this one and the one on top there. So you have 2 times LB plus 2 times uh, LH. We have the length and the height, so we have this part of the rectangle. So 2 times LH, where L is the length, and H is the height, plus 2 times BH. So BH of the breadth, which is from here up to there, which is known to be X centimeters. So this is the B, and the H is this one. So we have this rectangle, and the other one is here, a similar rectangle. So there are two of them, that's why I'm saying 2 times bh. Now, having uh, shown that, we are going to have the area, which is known to be 120, is equal to 2 times, what is lb? Length is 2x, okay? Times, what is the breadth of this particular uh, rectangle is x, plus 2 times the l is 2x, and what is the height? The height is y plus 2 times the b, the breadth is x, and the height is y. All right. What is that going to give us? So we have 120 giving us 2, this will be 4x squared. Uh, 2x times x is 2x squared times 2, or 4x squared, plus this is 4xy plus 2xy. So that is going to give us 120 being equal to 4x squared plus 6xy. You know that 4xy plus 2xy will give us 6xy. Let us make y subject of the formula from there. We'll have 6xy giving us 4x, uh, giving us... Uh, So I've started with this, which is this side. So 6xy, the 120 will be this side. So it will be 120 minus 4x squared. Because 4x squared has to be taken to the other side. Or you have to add that to the inverse of uh, 4x squared. Then you divide by 6x. Even there, divide by 6x. Okay. What are you going to get? You have y. Your y is going to be equal to, this is the same as 120 over 6x minus 4x squared 
over 6x. That is what we are going to have. That is what we are going to have. So, having obtained that, we have that y is equal to 6 into 120 is 20 over x minus 2 into 4 is 2 over 3 because 2 into 6 is 3. Then you divide x into x squared, you get x. So this is what y is, but we can group, we can write this as a single fraction. y will give us, uh, you have 3x being common, then this will be 60 minus 2x squared. This is what y is, that is what y is. Now, having known what uh, y is in terms of x, let us now get what the volume is. So you know that the volume of a cuboid is LBH, length times breadth times the height. So you have LBH, okay? So this volume in this case is equal to the length is 2x and the breadth is x and the height is y, okay? The height is y. This is the height of this uh, cuboid. So volume is equal to 2x squared y. But you know what y is. y is skisty minus 2x squared over 3x. That's what y is. So the volume of 2x squared times y is y, I'll put skisty minus 2x squared over 3x, okay? You know that what we have in the brackets can be expressed separately as volume being 2x squared. Skisted divided by 3x is 20, this one which we had here, 20 over x, minus this will give us 2 over 3x like that this is what we had uh, this is what was substituted uh, in the end so let us see what that is going to give us using this other part of the board what are we going to get on that one so the volume is going to give us what is 2 times 20? So, I want to expand now. I'll have 2x squared times 20, it is 40x squared over x. This x we have. 2x squared times negative 2x, that will be negative 4x cubed over uh, 3. That's what we are going to have. And having done so, the volume will be equal to, you know that x can divide x squared, x times, so that will be 40x, okay, that will be 40x minus 4 over 3x cubed, shown. So that's what we, we were asked to show and we have shown. So this is what the volume is uh, of this particular cuboid. Now, the second part of the question is saying, given that x can vary, so given that the x dimension here can change, this is the breadth, if the breadth keeps on changing, at what value of x and y are we going to have the minimum volume? So, this is just uh, an application of differentiation. We know that at the minimum volume, you have that the, there is no change in the volume. Change uh, volume can no longer change at its minimum point. And because there is no change, you understand that the change of volume with respect to x is the, uh, dv dx. So at the minimum value, the dv dx is zero there. So because it is zero, owing to the fact that there is no change, you can solve for what x is. And later on, you can solve for y because you have a relationship here of y and x. So let us get. Uh, uh, this particular 
Dimensions. Let's get the dimensions for x and y. So this is the, the volume which we have here. Now, how are we supposed to answer this particular question? So I won't rub here this relationship of y and x because we are going to use it at some point. Now, since v is equal to uh, 40x minus 4 over 3x cubed, let us get the expression in terms of the equation of uh, the expression of dv and dx. This will be 40. You know that when you differentiate 40x, you just get 40. Minus differentiating this one, you drop the power, so you have 4 over 3 times the power is 3 and reduce this power by 1, so it will be x squared. Alright, so you can cancel this and that one. This is going to give you 40 minus 4x squared. Okay, this is uh, the rate of change of volume, an expression for the rate of change of volume with respect to the uh, breadth which is x in this case. So this is the rate of change. Now, at its minimum, you don't expect any change of volume because it has reached at its minimum. So this dv dx will be zero. So we are saying at the minimum, uh, let me just put the y here so that I can use some space here. So we have y is equal to 60 minus 2x squared, everything over 3x. That's what y is. So I was explaining that at the minimum, so at the minimum, dv uh, dx is zero. There is no change in the volume because it has reached at its minimum. So what you are saying is this 40 minus 4x squared is 0. So the goal here is to solve for, uh, for x. So you will have 4x squared giving us 40. Then divide by 4, divide by 4. Then x squared is 10, meaning x is square root of, of 10, okay? I'm just getting the positive square root of 10 because we do understand the implication of x. What is x? x is a dimension, so you can't have a negative square root, you can't have a negative dimension. So in this case, you can't have the breadth of this cuboid being negative. You understand the meaning of negative, so we just... Uh, we just use the positive square root of 10 as x. So if x is the positive square root of 10, what would be y? So you can get that. So y is here. y is equal to... So y is equal to... Excuse me. Minus 2, where well, there's... You have 2x squared over 3x. So y is going to be equal to 60 minus 2 times 10. Where am I getting 2 times 10? You know that x is the square root of 10 here. x is the square root of 10. So square root of 10 squared is 10 times 2. So that's what I have put here. Over 3 times square root of 10 which will be equal to 60 minus 20, which is 40, over 3 times square root of 10. That will be the dimension of y. So those two will be the dimensions when the volume uh, is, uh, is minimum. So you can check that out. Now, in this paper, you are using a calculator. You can get the value, exactly value of this, and you write it correct to three significant figures and also the exact value of x which is square root of 10 and you write it uh, which will be three point something you write it in its uh, uh, correct write it correct run it off correct to three significant figures thank you so much i hope and believe that you enjoyed the lesson please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel 
God bless you all.